Turn with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 13 through 20. Twende pamoja katika kitabu cha Matayo. Matthew 16, if you can please rise up in honor of the word of God. Matthew 16, verse 13 through 20. When Jesus came, uh, come on, let's read it together. When Jesus came into the region of uh, Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who? Do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hate shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound. And whatever you bind, if you lose on earth, shall be loosed. Come on, let's continue verse 20. Then he commanded his disciples that they should tell no one that he was Jesus the Christ. Basi yesu wakainda pande za kesaria Filipi, akawaliza wanafunzi waki akasema, Watu hune na mwana wa adamu kuwa ni nani? Wakasema, wengine hune na yu Yohana, u Yohana mbatizaji, wengine Elia, wengine Yeremia, au mmoja wapo wa manabi. Akawambia, nanyi mwani nena mimi kuwa ni nani? Simoni Petro akajibu wakasema, wewe ndiwe kristo, mwana wa mungu aliehai. Yesu akajibu wakamambia, Heri wewe Simoni Bariona kwa kuwa mwili na damu havikufunulia haviku kufunulia hili bali baba yangu aliye mbinguni nami nakwambia wewe ndiwe Petro na juu ya mwamba huu nitalijenga kanisa langu wala milango ya kuzimu haitalishinda nami nitaku, nitakupa wewe funguo za ufalme wa mbinguni na lolote utakalo lifunga duniani litakuwa limefungwa mbinguni Na lolote utakalo lifunga duniani litakuwa limefungwa mbinguni ndipo alipo wa kataza sana wanafunzi wake wasimwambie mtu yeyote ya kwamba yeye ndiye Kristo Father we thank you for your word Baba tunakushukuru kwa neno lako Bless it O oh God Bariki neno lako Even as we long to hear from you Na hata bile tunatamani kusikia kutoka kwako We long, oh God, to just be taught by you Tunatamani kufundishwa nawe Teach us, oh God Tufundishe In Jesus' name Tikajina la Yesu Amen Come on, go ahead and sit down if you can Amen I would like to take a few minutes with us today Taka nichukue dakika chache nasi pamoja And talk to us Na tukaweze kuwanenea What God has laid in my heart to share with you Kili ambacho mungu ameweka moyoni mwake the scriptures that we've just read are very exciting verses of scripture. Jesus is walking Yesu and he reaches a place called Caesarea Philippi na mahali Kaisaria, Philippi. and here he asks his disciples who do people think that I am. Na hapa na wauliza, wanafunzi wake, watu anasema, Mimi ni nani? to understand Christ's question we must understand the circumstances under which he was asking these questions. I believe it was not because he was doubting himself of who he was. It was not because of an egoistic human nature na that seeks to be recognized. Pia ni na ya and I want you to understand this. Hili. There is nowhere else in the Bible you will you ever find Jesus asking what people say he is. Mahali utapata yesu anauliza, watu wanam, nani. On the contrary, men sought to know who he was. Na 
kwa kinyume watu ndio wanao tafuta kumjua yeye ni nani The same disciples also marveled and asked who is this man Na hata wanafunzi pia wakashangaa na kuuliza huyu ni nani You know Zacchaeus in, uh, in the book of Luke 19 verse 3 Zacchaeus sought to know who Christ was Na katika kitabu cha Luka Zakayo anatafuta kumjua ni nani Luke 19 verse 3 tells us that Zacchaeus sought to know who Christ was. Luka 19 tunatuambia kwamba Zakayo alitaka kumjua ni nani. Can you take us to that scripture briefly Luke 19 verse 3 it says and he sought to see who Jesus was but could not because of the crowd for he was of short stature. Mstari wa 3 huyu alikuwa akitafuta kumwona Yesu ni mtu wa namna gani asiweze kwa sababu ya umati wa watu maana ni mfupi wa kimo Here is Jesus walking his, with his disciples. Na hapa Yesu anatembea na wanafunzi wake. The disciples have never sought to know what kind of a person he is. Wanafunzi hawaja tafuta kumjua ni mtu namna gani. And therefore Caesarea Philippi stands out as a place or the best place for this question. Na Kaisari inakuwa ni mahali pazuri au mafaka wa kuuliza hili swali. And he starts by asking who do people say I am? Na anaanza kwa kuuliza watu husema mimi ni nani? Then they gave him all sorts of answers. Wakampatia majina aina yote. He went ahead to ask but who do you say that I am? Na akawauliza na nyinyi mnasema mimi ni nani? It's not about what people are saying concern me. Who you who is following me? Who do you say? Haijalishi watu wanasema mimi ni nani kile cha msingi ni nyinyi mnaofuatana na mimi mnasema ni nani Zakia sought to know who I am Zakayo akatafuta kunifahamu Herod with all his sins in the book of Luke 9 verse 9 sought to see who Christ was Na Herode katika kitabu cha Luka 9:9 akatafuta kumjua Kristo ni nani Because he thought okay I've killed John the Baptist now who is this man who is doing things that have never heard of before na kafikiria mimi nimekwisha kumuua Yohana kwa hivyo ni nani huyu anayetenda miujiza i want to minister to us on a message entitled seek him for who he is nataka nikawalete ujumbe unaosema mtafuteni kwa vile alivyo you know in this year of god's greatness na katika mwaka huu wa ukuu wa Mungu seek him for who he is mtafute kwa vile alivyo there are so many temptations of trying to see god in his power kuna majaribu mengi ya kutaka kumuona mungu katika nguvu zake we tend to see god in powerful miracles signs and wonders but we fail to see him in his silence even when we go through tough times nataka kumuona mungu katika ngurumo za miujiza lakini tunashindwa kumtambua katika ukimya wake let me tell you wacha nikwambie seeking the face of god kutafuta uso wa mungu will require knowing him inahitaji kumfahamu you cannot seek that which you don't know about huwezi kutafuta kile ukifahamu you may seek to know but after finding you must know you must spend time to know that particular thing unaweza kutumia wakati kutafuta lakini unapomuona ni lazima utumie wakati kufahamu and i want to tell you this nataka nikwambie hivi knowing a person will require spending more time with that person kufahamu mtu inahitaji kutumia wakati mwingi naye and that's why jesus is asking but who do you say i am Nani? you've spent so much time with me who am i to you na ndipo sa Yesu anawauliza mnatumia wakati mwingi nami nyinyi mnasema mimi ni nani When you spend time with a person you get a deeper revelation of who they are Ukitumia wakati mwingi na mtu unapata ufahamu wa ndani yeye ni nani Other people may not understand the person but because you spend time with them you will not only understand but will also embrace them for who they are Watu wengi wanaweza kwamba hawatamfahamu lakini wewe hutawafahamu tu lakini utawakumbatia And I want to ask this question Na, this morning Nataka niulize hii swali ya siku ya leo Who does this church say Christ is today Je kanisa hili linasema Kristo ni nani On a personal level who is Christ Katika kiwango chako binafsi Kristo ni nani And as a congregation who is Christ to us today Na katika kama kongamano Kristo ni nani kwetu Are we seeking to know him 
Have we been seeking to know him? Or are we here to fulfill a religious right? You need to understand that knowing Christ and seeking him must go hand in hand. This is the year of his greatness. But his greatness cannot be seen if we don't seek him. Because the greatness of Christ is revealed, the greatness of God is revealed in his only begotten son who is Jesus Christ. If we seek the Son, His greatness will unfold. In the book of John 17, verse 1 through 3, we read a very interesting prayer from Christ. And he says, Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, he's praying. This is Jesus praying. Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son also may glorify you. As you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. And this is eternal life that Christ is saying should be given by him. This is eternal life that they may the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Ustari wa kwanza hadi wa tatu maneno hayo aliasema Yesu akainua macho yake kuelekea mbinguni akasema baba Sasa imekwisha kufika, saa imekwisha kufika, mtukuze mwanao, ili mwana wako naye akutukuze wewe. Kama vile ulivyo mpa mamlaka juu ya wote wenye mwili, ili kwamba wote ulio mpa awape uzima wa milele. Na uzima wa milele ndio huu, wakujue wewe, mungu wapekee wakweli, na yesu kristo ulie mtuma. Knowing Christ. Umfahamu Christo prepares us not only for eternity but also helps us experience eternal life here on earth. Na pia inatufanya tukaweze kushiriki uzimu wa milele hapa duniani. He starts by saying anaanza kwa kusema Take us to verse 1 and 2 again. Twende mstari wa kwanza na wa pili. I want you to get this. Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come, glorify your son, that your son also may, be, may glorify you. Verse 2, that's what I want. As you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. That he should give eternal life. If he is the one giving eternal life, how much should we seek him just like we are seeking to find eternity when we die? I've seen so many people deciding to live the way they want then repent before they die. Let me tell you, you will not enjoy eternity fully if you have not experienced it fully here through the sun. Hallelujah. Kufa, nataka ni kuambie hauta furahikia kikamilifu umilele kama hauja upata hapa. You have to know that eternal life begins here. Nazima ufahamu ya kwamba uzimu wa milele unaanzia hapa. He is the one giving us eternal life. Yeye ndia natapatia uzimu wa milele. Those that God has given him are the ones who are given eternal life wherever we are. Wale ambo mungu wa memkabidhi ndio wanao pata uzimu wa milele hapa. In the year of God's greatness. Katika mwaka wa ukuwa mungu. He wants you and I to experience eternal life. Anataka wewe na mitukaweze kukua na uzimu wa milele. He wants you and I to experience the power of of eternity. The question is, who do we say he is? How are we seeking him? You know, for far too long we've been so casual with the things of God. We've neglected, we've neglected prayer and sin has become something to toy around with. 
na dhambi imekuwa ni kitu cha kuchezea when you know who he is ukimfahamu yeye ni nani you will stop trying to fantasize and, and and try to please the flesh because he is spirit and the true worshipers shall worship him in truth and in spirit ukimfahamu yeye ni nani utaanza kukoma kufurahisha mwili kwa maana wanao mabudu wana mabudu kwa roho na kweli let's understand this scripture a little bit nataka tufahamu haya maandiko Matthew 16 verse 13 Mathayo 16 13 we need to know him inatufasa tumfahamu but to know him will require us seeking him lakini kumfahamu itakupasa kumtafuta Matthew 16 verse 13 says when Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi he asked his disciples saying who do men say that i the son of man am basi yesu akaenda pande za kaisaria filipi akawauliza wanafunzi wake akasema watu hunena mwana wa adamu huwa ni nani you need to understand why he asked he chose that place to ask the question lazima ufahamu kwa nini alichagua hapo mahali kuuliza hilo swali you need to understand where he's going with this question lazima ufahamu anaelekea wapi na swali lake Kaisaria Philip is located 40 kilometers north of the sea of Galilee na hapa Kaisaria Philip ni takriban kilomita 40 kutoka bahari ya Galilaya it says the southwest foothills of Mount Hermon na hapa iko chini katika milima ya uh, ya Harmoni This place was known for forest and springs of water na hapa hapa nafahamika kama mahali pa msitu na chemichemi za maji The Greek god of Pan was worshipped in this very place. Na yule Mungu wa Kiyunani wa Pan alikuwa anaabudiwa mahali hapa. And according to some gospel accounts, na kulingana na nakala <laughs> It is during Philip, uh, Philip's rule that Jesus and his disciples visited the street the district of Caesarea Philippi. Ni wakati wa Filipo akitawala ambapo Yesu alipofika mahali pale. It is this same place where there was a sanctuary of Pan. It is this same place where there was a lot of wealth. The same place where there was beauty that Jesus asked a question that can divert you from what you're seeing. Na ni hapa mahali itajika penye chemichemi na misitu ambapo Yesu anauliza swali linaloweza kukutoa nje. And it is at this same place that Peter gets it right. Na ni mahali hapa hapa ambapo Petero alipata jibu. And I want to ask you this question. Nataka nikuulize hile swali. In the midst of the abundance of resources. Katikati ya utele wa mali. In the midst of you being successful katikati ya wewe kuwa unafanikiwa in the midst of you being so educated na katikati ya wewe kwamba umeelimika in the midst of you being surrounded by money katikati ya wewe kwamba uko na pesa would you answer this question the right way as peter answered it je ungalijibu hili swali kisawasawa vile peter alipata in your abundance in your beauty in everything that you have have you sought to know who he is in everything that you have katika utele ule wako je umemtafuta na kwa kumfahamu yeye ni nani speak the truth people have neglected to know christ when abundance shows up when success shows up they forget who god was they forget even to pray as they used to pray kusema ukweli watu wanasahau mungu na kusahau kuomba wakiwa wako na mali na utele and to speak the truth there is no other beautiful place that christ would have asked this question hakuna mahali pazuri zaidi ambapo yesu angaliuliza hili swali it is a place where the disciples would have easily been diverted from the main goal of following Christ. Ni mahali ambapo rahisi sana kwa wanafunzi wangalitoka nje kwa kumfuata Kristo. This is a place where one would easily forget the need for God. Hapa ni mahali ambapo rahisi sana mtu angesahau umuhimu wa Mungu. This is a place where someone would forget very easily. Hapa ni rahisi sana kwa mtu kusahau who God is. Mungu ni nani? What would you answer God today? Ungelimjibu Mungu nini leo? Who do you say that he is in your health? In your wealth? In your abundance? Who do you say? Katika utele wako na afya yako nzuri, ungelimjibu Mungu ni nani? And I'm very sure most of us would answer based on what surrounds us. 
na hakika ya kwamba wengi wetu tungelijibu kulingana na kile kinachotuzunguka when you read the book of joshua it is believed that this is one of the places Kaiseria Philippi is one of the places where the one of the half tribes of uh, 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 of the children of Israel one of the half tribe uh, uh, decided to camp and reside na unaposoma kitabu cha Yoshua utaona ya kwamba hapa ni mahali ya moja wapo ya zile mbari zilikuja zikakaa the tribe of manasseh the half tribe of manasseh they settle this pl- in this place and you can easily understand this is a fertile ground this is a place where pasture can have food i mean your animals can have pasture this is a place where there is no struggle when you compare it with the rest of israel it's a beautiful place kabila la manase nusu yake walikaa mahali hapa kwa maana ni mahali ambapo mifugo kwa rahisi wangalipata malisho and it's good also to understand that in the abundance of beauty you can easily divert from the real beauty which is Christ on the cross. Na ni rahisi pia kufahamu ya kwamba katika utele ya wema ni rahisi kusahau uh, yule mwema zaidi ambao ni Kristo. Christ this morning in the year of his greatness. Asubuhi uh, ya leo katika mwaka wa ukuu wake he's looking for a people who would know and love him for who he is and not for what he can provide for them. Anatafuta watu ambao wangemfahamu yeye ni nani na si vile anaweza kuwatosheleza. When you come with your own idea of who he is and who he should be, you miss the mark and become like Peter who denied him at the very point where he needed him. Kija na mtazamo wako wa kueleza yeye ni nani unakosa unakuwa kama Petero aliyemkana. When you look at the book of Luke chapter 22 verse 54 to 61 I'm not going to read you'll see Peter denying Christ three times. Uh, Luke 22 utapata kwamba Petero anamkana Yesu mara tatu. Not because he hated him. Si kwa sababu alimchukia. It's because he had a different expectation of a Messiah, a Messiah who will come and save the children of Israel from the hands and the yoke of the Romans. Ni kwa sababu alikuwa na mtazamo tofauti wa Kristo ambaye alikuwa ni akuje abaokoe kutokana na mikono ya Warumi. He wanted a Messiah who can deal with the Romans the same way he dealt with demons. Alitaka masihi ambaye atawashughulikia Warume vile alivyowashughulikia mapepo. But when it was revealed to him during that tough moment who Christ was a loving God, a tender-hearted Christ who could not even condemn Peter for denying, he just looked at him with eyes that says, "Come back to me, I still love you." Peter wept bitterly. Lakini alipo dhihirishiwa uh, kwamba Kristo ni nani hata baada ya kumkana akimkaribisha tena when he saw him, the bible says he turned Jesus after the uh, 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 after uh, uh, after he denied him the third time Jesus turned and looked at him meaning he was not very far away and Peter looked at Christ and their eyes locked and Peter turned and wept bitterly what was in those eyes that Peter saw what is this that made peter to turn and look at the messiah instead of running away after denying him three times it's nothing else but seeking to find do you still love me na biblia nasema baada ya kumkana mara tatu wakatazamana na macho yao yakakutana na petero akageuka na kulia petero alikuwa anataka kuona upendo wa kristo it's not only the abundance that can divert you from christ even lack of the abundance that you've been seeking can cause you to deviate from Christ. And at that point where you have given up and denied him, when he looks at you, will you be able to look at him and say, "Man, I'm so sorry. I've deviated and weep bitterly so that you can have a turn around that can defend the gospel." with all that you have na hata ikifikia mahali umetoka nje unaweza kuangalia na kulia kwa uchungu na kuomba msamaha this being our first sunday in the month of may let me tell you it's our mission sunday jesus look at peter was a mission minded look it is a look that is seeking to deliver and the eyes that peter is looking christ with I either says I'm lost I need to be found and I'm seeking 
to know who can find me. Na haya macho ya Yesu anayemtazama nayo pita ni macho ya kiumishionari na ye Petero anasema nimepotea na tafu na dakikana kupatikana. It's like Peter is saying forgive me for seeing you for who you are not. Kama Petero anamwambia Yesu nisamehe kwa kukuona kile ambacho wewe siye. When you've been found are you finding others because Peter wept bitterly and when he was restored he led others. Ukipatikana nawe utaenda kutafuta na kupata wengine. In this year of God's greatness. Tika mwaka huu wa ukuu wa Mungu. Seek him the right way for who he is. Tafute katika njia ya sawa. You see Judas was also there he walked with Christ. Yuda pia alikuwa akitembea na Yesu. For three years and was taught by him for three years. Alitembea na Yesu kwa miaka mitatu na kufundishwa na Yesu. But still he didn't get to know who Jesus was. Na bado hakufahamu Yesu ni nani. And because he was just following in a religious setup and in a religious manner, he came and betrayed Christ with a theological terminology or a big word like rabbi and a very beautiful kiss. Na kwa sababu alikuwa amelelewa katika mazingira hayo akakuja kumsaliti mwana He betrayed him rabi. with an intellectual word rabbi Na katika neno la kifasaha rabbi He betrayed him akamsaliti because he didn't know him Kwa sababu hakumjua seeking him kumtafuta protects you from denying him inakulinda kutokana na kumkana seeking him the right way kumtafuta katika njia inayopaswa you from denying him inakulinda kutokana na kumkana number two, seeking him the right way kumtafuta katika njia inayostahili protects him protects you inakulinda from selling him out kutokana na kumpeana na kubuza there are so many people that have sold jesus for a penny kuna watu ambao wamemuuza na kumpeana kristo through our actions dogo. through our lifestyle and through our prayer life kutokana na matendo yetu na kutokana na vile tunaishi na kutokana na maisha yetu ya maombi seeking him for who he is kumtafuta yeye ni nani protects us from denying him Inatulinda kutokana na kumkana. Protect us from selling him out. Inatulinda kutokana na kumpeana na kumuuza. And you've been wondering why you've been acting the way you've been acting lately. Je, umekuwa ukishangaa kwa nini unafanya na kutenda mambo vile unatenda? The answer lies in whom are you seeking today? Na hilo jibu ni unamtafuta nani? Whom have you been seeking? Nani umekuwa ukimtafuta? And when you found him whom did you say he was? Na ulipompata ukasema yeye ni nani? Because I hear this question echoing in my mind who do people say I am? Maana ninahisi hili swali ni katika akili yangu watu wanasema mimi ni nani? If you knew who he was you will not come to church late for prayer. Kama ungalimfahamu yeye ni nani usingelikuja kanisani kuchelewa you would come early for prayer ungelipika mapema kwa maombi you knew who he was ungelimfahamu yeye ni nani you would not move away from him you will continuously remain in an intercessory mode without caring what people are saying usingemtoroka ungelibaki katika maombezi we've been diverted by what people say and failed to pray We've been diverted until our legs are no longer walking for Christ. We are walking and walking towards a what we can justify within us. Tumetoka nje kwa sababu yenye watu wanasema if you knew who he was. Ungalimfahamu yeye ni nani? You would not toy around with sin. Yeye usingeenda kuchezea dhambi. If you knew who he was. Ungalimfahamu yeye ni nani? A loving Christ. Christ anayependa a delivering Christ yeye anayekomboa you would not subject yourself to oppression because people have rejected you usingejipeana kwa dhambi kwa maana watu wamekukataa you would stick to him ungelibaki pale pale and go on your knees na uende kwa magoti when things are tough kama mambo ndio yamekuwa magumu and still go on your knees when things are good na uende kwa magoti mambo yakiwa ni mazuri who do people say that i am Watu wanasema mimi ni nani? Rise up on your feet. Mame kwa miguu yetu. Who do you say that Christ is today? Je, unasema Kristo ni nani leo? Is he truly known in your heart? 
Je, ni kweli anafahamika moyoni mwako? Have you sought him to know who he is? Je, umemtafuta kumjua yeye ni nani? Or are you still concerned by what people are saying? Ama wewe bado unajali yale mambo watu wanasema? I don't want to repeat this message again. Sitaki kurudia huu ujumbe tena. But in the abundance of your wealth, in the abundance of your lack, Jesus remains to be the same. Lakini katika utele wa mali yako na hata katika hali ya kupungukiwa, Yesu ni yule yule. He remains to be the same. Yeye yule habadiliki. Why should you change because circumstances have changed? Kwa nini wewe ubadilike kwa maana hali zimebadilika? Why? Kwa nini? Why should you give up on God because life has given up on you? Kwa nini ukate tamaa kwa Mungu kwa maana maisha imekukataa? Why should you change because tough times have come knocking? Kwa nini ubadilike kwa maana kwa sababu ya hali ngumu zimefika? Who do you say that he is today? Je, unasema Kristo ni nani leo? And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. Amen. And be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Amen. And give you peace. Amen. And now may the grace of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and the love of God and, and the, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with, with us now and, and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. Amen. Let this week be a week where you will allow your heart to know who Christ is and God bless you.